this lesson we're going to build two more controls that are going to control the mid-back and upper back or chest area on our character. So we're going to use a box curve for this uh, generated from a MEL script. You can always use a NURBS circle and just drag that into position and just follow along uh, orienting that to the joints. So this works perfectly well. It's actually a fine way of doing that. You can you know, scale it down like so. Uh, this would also work for the hips as well. These are uh, really simple and uh, easy to make. I'm actually going to go ahead and use our box curve. I've got it loaded up in my script editor right here. So if you have one, go ahead and load up the, the script, the MEL script for the box curve. I'm going to highlight it and hold down control and hit enter on my keyboard. And there it is right there. And we'll just move this into position. Okay. So we're going to snap the pivot up to this back joint right here, holding down the V key. All right, making sure that's centered in there. And now we can scale this down a little bit. So this is the area that it's going to be affecting. So we're going to indicate to the animator uh, the area that this is going to control by the size of the box. So let's go into our side view and access our control vertex. We've got the camera in the way here again. So let's just turn that off. And we can kind of move these into place. Drag in a marquee so I get both sides box. All right, so something like this for our side view. And we'll come out here and check the front view. That looks pretty good. Can maybe just scale these in a little bit. Okay, back to object. Perspective view here. Okay, so we've got that one in place. I'm going to go ahead and freeze transforms on that under modify freeze transformations. Zeroes everything out over here. Let's go ahead and color code that now under the drawing overrides. We're going to enable overrides. Let's go ahead and give it yellow as its color. Okay. So I'm just going to duplicate this now for the chest area. If you've got a ring on here, you can just do the same thing and duplicate it. Control D. Move that up into position. And this one we're going to snap into place over our chest joint right here where our arms are coming in. So holding down the V key, snap that into place right there. And we can scale this up now. And a little bit wider. And we'll probably want to come into our side view, control vertex, and just position these up a little bit more. like that. All right. Let's check our front view here. All right. So just checking our points right here. We can probably just overall scale this up a little bit. Maybe out like that and then grab the points down here and scale those back in a little bit like that. Okay. All right, let's come back out here to our perspective. And I think we can even uh, just grab these points right here and pull them in a little bit more in the front. Okay. So that looks good. Let's freeze transformations on this as well. Everything is zeroed out now. So we're going to do the same thing we did on the hip joint. We're going to orient constrain those to the joints. Before we do that, since we're working with an FK rig right here for the back, we are going to have to parent the top one to the lower one here. So when we move the lower one, right now if we were to move this, it would not affect our upper body. Um, we want it to definitely affect the upper body. So we're going to have to parent that. 
So I'm going to select the first one, the upper one, shift select the lower, P on the keyboard. So now when I select this one on the lower, and I move it, it moves the upper body as well. Okay? All right, so with the lower one selected, I'm going to shift select the joint that, that we're going to constrain it to. And under constrain, orient constrain, option box, making sure that maintain offset is checked. Hit apply. Okay, and we can do that for the upper one now, selecting the, the box, shift selecting the joint, and adding that. Okay, so now when we select these, we should see our upper body move. And if we select the top one, we should see our chest area move, as we would expect. Okay, let's go ahead and clean up our transformations over here. So we don't need the translate XYZ. Right mouse click, we're going to lock and hide those. Same thing with the scale and visibility. We'll lock and hide those. Do the same thing for the lower one. All right. So we've got our controls now for our back and our hips. And we're going to move on to our arms in the next lesson.